I just want to first apologize for the wind noise, but <laughs> it's December 30th. We're doing some load testing. Okay. Here we go. Ready to go. Zero, 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 hundred. So take a shot and see who it registers. So this is 6.8 Western factory ammo. Uh, it's the copper impact. You can see what we are uh, getting velocity wise out of this 22 inch barrel. First time using the new carbon zero. Chronographs. See if we get a reading. Twenty-seven ninety-four. That's cool. So it's uh, box posted. It's a little higher than that. I think it's uh, twenty-eight seventy-five. We'll make take a couple shots and see what we get for an average. There we go. So there's 28. It's a little bit different. Is that a 22 inch barrel? Probably other than a 24. Now we'll try some of my uh, hand loads and do a kind of a 10 shot ladder test with two different types of powder. I got H1000 and I got uh, H4831 shortcut. We'll do a ladder test uh, using uh, 175 grains here, tip Game Kings. We'll get some data from there. So these are the, the 10, 11 rounds I loaded up. We're gonna start with uh, H1000. Like I said, we're shooting 6.8 Western, uh, 175 grain Sierra Game King. Um, box or Hajin load data max with H1000 with this 175 bullet is 59.1 grains. Uh, so we're going down from there three tenths to form this ladder test. We're going to start right down here at uh, 57.6. And then we went uh, about four steps above uh, max and uh, just in small increments. And we'll look for pressure signs if there is any. And we'll uh, record the velocities of all these 10 shots. And then we'll see if we find any flat spots and we'll graph it in here. Right now it's just uh, rough estimates of velocities. Then we'll try it, uh, same powder combination, or different powder combination, uh, H4831 shortcut with the same bullet. So, a 10 shot string there as well. See what we get. All right, we're gonna do that 10 shot string. We're gonna start with H1000. I'll do my uh, lightest load. This is the 57.6 grains. I actually got two loaded up at this exact same green weight by accident. We'll shoot them the same rounds. Start a new session here. All right. Here we go. charge per load.
Okay, so down at our base, we have a small velocity of uh, 2611. Starting load. This is a heavier grain bullet than I was shooting earlier, too. It's 175 versus the 152. We'll kind of give a, a light break between shots so the barrel doesn't heat over uh, much. But today is pretty cold. It's, it's uh, right at zero degrees Celsius. What do we have here? Here's all the H1000 bullets. Here's the uh, H43, 48, 31 I mean. Got each one labeled like this. So we'll shoot this one here. It's the exact same grainer mate. That was uh, a difference of yeah, eight feet per second between the exact same green weight. It's not bad. But that's on the lighter end of our powder charge. We're only getting 2,600 feet per second. So that's not where we're probably going to want to finish, but it's good to get some data. Anyway, 57.9, 3 tenths more powder, probably won't see too high of a velocity change, we'll see. Usually I don't shoot off a bipod on a table, so the bounce for accuracy of the groups, but like I said, we're not shooting. Okay, velocity dip there, 2596. Barrel's still pretty freaking cold. So. <laughs> Six twenty. Shoot one more fifty eight point five grains H one thousand. Take a small break and let the barrel cool back down and continue on. Okay, we'll continue on here. The barrel's pretty cold. Like I said, the temperatures are really good for this today. So our next shot looks like it's gonna be uh, 58.8 grains. We're still on the low end of velocities, what this can do. So I'm just working up slowly.
26.57. What's that? Nine point one grains. Twenty six fifty eight second. They're all staying pretty consistent. Uh, no real bad extreme spread despite the powder increases in density. Fifty nine point four. No heavy bolt lift, no extraction marks yet. So we're within pressure for sure. 59.4 million cents. 26.87. No heavy bolt lift, no extractor. Warm, so we'll uh, take another little break. Get in the oven. All right, next shot here. We got 20 or not 20, 59.7 grains. Seven oh eight. No heavy bolt lift there. No extractor marks. Six point oh grains. Again, we're just going up three tenths of a grain. Usually guys go up two tenths, but with this uh, larger uh, powder capacity, you know, it's a Magnum 620 Western, so we'll go three tenths increments. You start feeling a little more kick, a little more uh, sharpness to the recoil as we climb. It's still well below the max that this round can go. <clears throat> Twenty-seven twenty, gain twenty feet per second there. Oh yeah, lots of room to go. The highest I have today is the six point three or six. Twenty-seven, twenty-six, only three green. I think difference in last night. Pretty good. Still pretty clear. Pressure signs. Probably load up uh, five more. So we uh, right away plugged in the data to our uh, charts for the H1000. It's a little, you know, overall smaller or uh, less high velocities than I anticipated, but it is a cold day. All in all, a nice, nice graph here. We started off at uh, 
2611, 2602 are their smallest grain weight, and then climbed to 2726 today. Uh, already we see in the middle of the graph we have a nice flat spot for a potential node where uh, you know increments of 0.3 grains yields you know not a lot of velocity change so we might want to explore this flat spot and then in general it looks like it's a pretty uh, flat line so a lot of potential and maybe multiple spots I'm gonna come back another day and go up uh, another maybe four charges by three grain inc increments over 60.3 and see where this graph continues but right now we'll switch uh, switch gears and try some H4831 uh, shortcut. All right, if you look over here, we're gonna start a new session on the Garmin. We're gonna try our next powder. So we'll go new session, rifle, keep a second range, five inches away, and here we go. So now over here, we're gonna start with our um, H4831 shortcut, starting with 52.5 grains. Twenty-five oh one. Yeah, it started pretty low on the starting charges, and that's what it's all about. Work our way up. Now we're fifty-two point eight grains. You can zoom in on the picture of the bullet there. That's that 175 grain Sierra Tip Game King. This is the heavier, heaviest grain, I believe, in the 277 caliber for the 68 Western. Just your typical uh, cup and core bullet. BC on it, I think, is 0 0.56, but. Alright, next. Five, eleven. Next shot of the string, we've got the 53.4 grains. Uh -uh. 25.44.8 feet per second. Moving up to the 53.7 grains. Fifty nine point three feet per second. Moving up to fifty four grains. Twenty-five, sixty-one point eight. I think that's pretty close. Okay, taking that little break after those three shots. Come on. All right, continuing on. Fifty-four point three grains. Forty-eight, thirty-one shot. Thank you. 
2587. Not sure if I mentioned already, but all these loads, they're all set at the same seating depth for the stage and load development. Okay, I didn't read out that charge. 54.6 grains. Yeah, we're in the 2604. With that 175 grain bullet. Getting a little more of a stout kick. Still a little further off of velocity than anyone. 54.9 grains. Look at that last shot. Six thirty six. Last shot with the uh, forty eight thirty one. We got fifty five point two grains. Now, uh, Hodgins low data does have lower velocities with this type of powder with this bullet. So we're seeing that for our maxes. top with that is 26, 36.7 feet per second. Again, no heavy bow left. So that is the load development for today. Uh, definitely got higher velocities with the H1000, which is to be expected. It works a little better with the higher grain of bullet, 175 grain. Uh, it stays in the lower pressure range as we get up to max. So we'll kind of review, we'll put this data in to our charts, see if we have any nodes. And then, like I said, next time, since we saw no pressure signs of where we are, this Hodgson data is pretty pretty on the mild side. So we'll probably over, uh, load up a couple more and then uh, get closer to pressure and see how much velocity we can squeeze out. That's it for today. Yeah.